Hey guys, welcome back to Extremely Annoyed. Um, it's still February 17th. Uh, um, this is my second video that I'm gonna upload today. Uh, I'm gonna be reacting to uh, one of David Dobrik's uh, videos uh, today. He just uploaded a video about 30 minutes ago and he has over 484,000 uh, uh, views. Amazing, 95 likes. I mean, this video gotta be fucking nice. I mean, I enjoy David Dobrik's vlogs. Like, I'm a huge fan of David Dobrik. And his um, vlog squad, you know, I'm a fan of all of them. Um, so, this is going to be really interesting. If it's that much views in such short, uh, a short period of time, it got to be a great freaking vlog. I mean, guys, check this out. We were randomly walking around New York and we found this. Look at this. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I'm on the fucking bus. Hi. Guys, good news. New York, baby. New York, I'm on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got so freaking excited. Yo, man, this guy. Yo, I love David Dobrik. I love his vlogs, bro. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> All right, Susie, we're going to drop in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Jonah's sister. That's one of the new members of the vlog squad, I guess. I don't know if she's uh, considered a part of the vlog squad. I have no idea. I know Jonah is. He's that fat dude. He's freaking hilarious. I love that guy. He looks a little bit like uh, Jonah Hill. <laughs> that, I, that's why they call him Jonah. That's not his real name, Jonah. But they call him Jonah because he resembles Jonah Hill. How can I just do that? <laughs> How does that feel? It's pretty cool. You want to try it? You know what I like about Jonah? Um, that he, yo, he does like other skits. You know, he collabs with other uh, vloggers or you know, uh, former miners. And he's so freaking serious when he does the acting. He's like, you could tell he's he takes it very seriously. So I like that about him. <laughs> Andrew is a professional soccer player. Right now he's bouncing on top of this beam. This and he's giving now a cool trick shot. Fucking bounce. There's always something freaking incredible and a miracle freaking happening in David Dobrik's vlogs. Like every time David Dobrik has something like this, it's like it makes me wonder if it's really real. You know, like did they re rehearse it? Did they did they like have different type of like multiple clips and finally was when they were able to do it right they took that clip like was it practice i mean because it's really mind-boggling like how is he always when he's vlogging in every video of his where he's for instance when he goes to las vegas and he's put ten thousand dollars and just wins twenty thousand dollars just like out of what like what the fr what are, what is the odds is what i'm saying it's like incredible yeah on this thing come well, this on. is insane come on this is insane if he does make it no way, no way. Oh! He freaking made it. This, it makes you question it, for real, but like people say it's real, like this shit is real. He just records all day, and he, you know, he so happens to get amazing, amazing content like that. Holy shit, that was fucking nuts. How do you feel about Natalie talking to your ex, Todd? Yeah, people think that I'm so, like, I'm betraying our friendship. Okay. She, uh, that's, um, what's her name? Damn. Karina. Karina? Carney? Whatever. She used to date Todd. This guy named Todd. He's a part of the vlog squad. She, and it's, she's a part of this vlog squad as well. So she used to work, date this guy named Todd. And they broke up. Now, this girl on the right, the brunette, is uh, David Dobrik's best friend. Also, his assistant, Natalie. Uh, and, she, and her and Todd, Todd and her have this like romance going on i think so um that's the story behind this right here uh so she's like you know uh, she, i think she just said um wait hold on what she said praying our friendship by him. no what it's like she portraying him portraying our friendship because she's dating this girl's ex <laughs> i just i'm worried for her <laughs> you know Todd wrote a song about you Yo, his, yeah, he did make a song about her, too. I seen that song. I haven't heard it yet. I just, like, you know, I passed it. I didn't want to see it. I might look back to it. Holy shit. What did you do to him? I don't know. I, like, people are crazy, man. <laughs> this is me listening to Natalie and I by Toddy Smith for the first time. A That's song Todd wrote, wrote about my assistant, Natalie. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm talking to this. Like, yeah, I'm not going to know what it is. You want to cut up with you? You want to cut up with you? What'd you 
think of that? It's pretty catchy. It, it is. is. It's, it's pretty, pretty catchy. catchy. Good. Also, why the fuck did you never write me a song? <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Give me the inspiration. <laughs> you wouldn't leave it alone for five minutes so you could fucking write it. <laughs> I used to, and there's a joke uh, that Karina used to be like a puppy, always following Todd or whatever. That should be man. Just like this guy named Kevin. He wants us to go surprise the girl of his dreams because she watches the videos and she's a DACA recipient. He's a DACA always recipient. Always like this type a DACA of, recipient. Uh, he thinks the best flux, idea like would be to scare this. her. Is she okay with you coming out? Uh, surprise somebody. That should be funny and. Uh, I'd be like really excited to watch. Uh, I've never been to her. Well, I've been to her house this like one for once for Christmas. <laughs> oh I actually spent Christmas with her. Uh, uh, I actually here. haven't met her yet. I've just been following her around. <laughs> <laughs> These are her apartments. Where do you normally park when you huh? peep through her windows? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are Kevin's friends? Yeah. yeah. Are you and, and Melissa. Oh, you're a DACA recipient? Yeah. So am I. Well, yeah. What? Yeah. That? Where did you guys meet? Oh, In the immigration so. office? <laughs> It's just a fucking bunch of illegals. <laughs> After talking with Kevin, we learned his friend Melissa is not only a huge fan of the vlogs and a DACA recipient, but is also a 21-year-old single mother. Latinos, man. No disrespect or anything, but, like, all that stuff, like, you see in the background right there, like, they always have something like that. I mean, aren't they, like, afraid that they're going to start moving or something? Like, there's so, so many movies. But those type of things started moving and possess, or they, you know, end up being possessed by demons or some shit. Just really scary to me. Who attends college, works three jobs, and cares for a sick parent. In other words, I really wanted to help her out. I wanted to scare you, but then oh, I realized your four-year-old was sleeping. To help her out. I, want I really wanted a single mother who attends college. 21-year-old single mother who attends single college, mother, works three old. jobs, and cares for a sick parent. In other words, I, I know what's going to happen. David Dobrik is going to help this girl out. And this is like the, the most wonderful thing about David Dobrik. Like he's the nicest. Him and Mr. Beast is like the nicest YouTubers ever, you know? They, they do the nicest, craziest, most generous shit ever. Like I, they're so freaking inspirational. I really wanted to help her out. I wanted to... Netflix, y'all wrong for not picking David Dobrik. I mean, he got... Obviously, the man has talent. People enjoy his content. Millions of people enjoy his content. He got millions of subscribers. Like, y'all wrong for, for not making him a partner. I mean, y'all losing. Y'all really losing, man. This man is his, his inspiration, for real. I scare you, but then I realized your four-year-old was sleeping in there. Yeah. He's four? Yes. And how old are you? 21. You had him when you were 13? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you worked three times. Thing is, your mom just what, got what out of surgery. I want to know what the hell about the father. Yeah. Like, what is he doing? And I go what to school. Like you was he's, he's, Damn it, I should have bought something like to give you. I no. I have changed in my pocket. Your presence is way more oh. I'll give you everything in my pocket. I have no. 20, no. $25. No, I don't need anything. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, check for $25,000. No, no. No. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, this is yours. No. Yeah. $25,000 and 26 bucks. <laughs> he's crying with her. Dude, all I've ever wanted was just to see her smile, to make sure that she's gonna be okay no matter I'm what. Crying. <laughs> Fucking guys and inspiration. I mean, I love the guy. videos every single day. I would put Anthony to eat. You hear so much similar uh, stories. Like he's, he's he, for real. There are times when I'm freaking sad as hell. I watch David Dobrik's. Vlogs, and this is me being very serious. My whole mood changes. And we would eat dinner and watch your vlog, yeah, but I laugh. I laugh better. so much. Like nothing. I've told everybody nothing can make me laugh as much as you do. You're the best. <laughs> I see why you like her. I'm like, I promise you guys, David Dobrik's vlogs are the number one, like my best, best YouTuber ever. Like. Uh, and rating, if I, if I was to rate the best YouTubers, in my opinion, in my, uh, in my view, David Dobrik is definitely number one. Move into Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to use it for? He's like, I'm going to go to Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need, I need this because I was going to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Are you a DACA recipient too? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I gotta find out what that is. You wanna marry me? <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> oh 
What do you guys think, man? Um, but I'm not, I'm not the devil because these are the right now. I mean, again, that's exactly what I expected. Some David Dobrik to be the nicest guy ever. I mean, damn and Mr. Beast are so freaking generous. That was so fucking nice of him, man. I really like his vlogs. He's always made me laugh. All right. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Please go ahead and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Peace.